Speaking of uh, jars with vacuums in it, I have a jar here with something in it. What is this? A bell. That's right. It's a bell in a jar, and the jar has air in it. And what I want to do is shake the jar and let you listen to the air, or let you listen to the bell. Sorry. Can you all hear that? It's not very loud because it's inside of a jar. You may wonder why I put a bell in a jar. And the reason is that I now want to remove the air from the jar. And we'll see if that changes the sound. So to do that, we use the same vacuum pump that we used before. And you see the pressure coming down towards zero. And it takes a long time for it to get all the way down to zero. In fact, it would take forever. So we won't wait that long. But when it gets down low enough, we can then close this valve right here. And then we don't need the vacuum pump. We can turn that off. In fact, we can let air into the vacuum pump. And then we can remove the hose from the jar. And what do we have in the jar now? A bell? No air? Less air. All good answers. There's a little bit of air. We call it a partial vacuum. But the interesting thing is what happens when I shake it now. So listen and see if you can hear it. It's really very hard to hear now. It's making almost no sound. Now to show you there are no tricks, I can open the valve and let air go in. And I'll try to shake it while I'm doing that, and you'll hear the sound come back. So that illustrates to you that uh, sound is a wave, and it needs a medium through which to propagate. When I'm talking and you're listening, it's because I'm making waves in the air that's in this room. And if there were no air in the room, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Well, you'd be dead, in fact, wouldn't you? <laughs> 